In his mid-twenties, Arsalan Gusi ventured into a business that could have been risky. Selling chicken and meat with a halal stamp on them hasn't been an easy challenge for the young Afghan-American entrepreneur. But four years on, more and more Americans eat halal food daily. My customer base, uh, I would say that a good majority is Muslim customers, but um, like I said, Americans are uh, now knowing what halal meat is and they're choosing halal meat over uh, regular meat and they know that it's healthier, they know uh, what the Islamic guidelines are for halal meat, so that's why they're choosing halal meat over regular meat. An expert in the Washington DC area is seeking to further expand this trend. Arsalan is the owner of one of many new halal restaurants in the area. The fourth annual halal expert is bringing together entrepreneurs like him who are looking to find practical solutions to the growing market. Organizers say the halal food industry is booming across America. Uh, the future is very, very, very promising and um, we're seeing a lot, of, a lot more of non-Muslims wanting to be active in the halal products and services uh, industries. Halal industry and halal companies in the United States have been growing exponentially. About 10, 15 years ago, if you were to go to Fairfax, Virginia, where I used to live, and you would probably not find halal restaurants, but now you find halal restaurants, some grocery stores, etc. And the knowledge of halal in the United States in general has increased tremendously over the past 15, 20 years. Halal entrepreneurs feel if the growth in the industry for the last two decades is any indication, the halal food will soon have a place in most American cuisines. Yunus Paksoy, Teatro World, Virginia, United States.